Okay. Ah, e, n, a, o. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's not the one. <laughs> oh, wrong one. I'm done. Hi everyone, welcome to Triangle Strategy. I almost about to say Project Triangle Strategy. I'm still used to calling it Project Triangle Strategy, so please do forgive me. So, hi everyone! This is going to be the new Let's Play for this channel, Triangle Strategy. So what's going to be happening is in this Let's Play is that there, this game has a lot of dialogue, and what comes to that is different choices, and those choices lead to different timelines and different endings and different dialogues that had happened depending on what most choices I make. This game is pretty darn big with dialogue. I'm pretty sure about that. This Let's Play is not going to have some crazy edits. It's just going to be straight to the point of exploring this game along with my commentary and of course the battles of my opinions and whatnot. And so I hope you guys take into account of the discussions too in the comments down below. Which choices you make because of what will happen. So. Without my jibber jabbering, let's get into playing Triangle Strategy. For the difficulty, we are going to be playing normal. Normal difficulty, because as a Fire Emblem fan, it feels pretty darn bad to go very easy. But, of course, at certain times, if the game gets a little... annoying? <laughs> if I'm struggling with the battle, at a certain point, I will turn it down to easy, so that way I could be able to move on with the story. So let's just continue on with normal, and we'll see from there on. <sighs> okay, let's go. On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. Norzelia. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. The Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolffort of Glenbrook, oh. whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Thirty years have passed, okay. Chapter 1. A young hawk soars. <laughs> I'm excited! Lord Saranoa? Good morning! Good morning! Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Saranoa. Oh, Benedict. Benedict. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. <laughs> I'll have a talk with of him. Of course. After. Uh. This is a momentous day. 
Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Woolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way. Well, they weren't joking. That kind of felt slow, in a way. <laughs> and world building. You cannot fast pace world building. Ooh. Moving on. World map. Ooh! Okay, access to world map already. So I made the voice volume a bit more louder than the music. So that way you guys can be able to hear it and you guys can follow through through the story. Let's go. Wolfort Harbor. An S Frosty worship arrives at Wolfort Harbor, where a woman with rose-colored hair and her attendant disembark. Ooh. I thank you for the escort. You are free to go. But Lady Frederica. There is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. Why is it still called ha pink haired woman? <laughs> it's still called that way when, when when the soldier literally said her name. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Gila, that's her name, Gila. The healer, I believe. That ship looks really good, though. That ship is really cool. It's probably just an HD 2D effect. Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? The thing I don't know is... A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Is this... Is this Most an... Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle heritage, such as me. Ooh! That pendant's beautiful. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. Mm. I have a lot of questions. What? Oh, uh, whoa! What happened? Oh, bandits. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Bandits. Ay, ay, ay. Of course, bandits. The game always starts with bandits. <laughs> Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. Oh, no, thank you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. 
I'm surprised that this harbor is literally... Like, is there no soldiers here? It's kind of weird that brigands are there, though. What the heck? What kind of harbor town is that? Wolfhart Harbor. Shortly after their arrival, Federica and Gila are waylaid by bandits. Meanwhile, Xeranoa makes his way to the harbor. Let's go. Woo! The first battle. Always bandits, and I don't know why! What do you intend to do with us? Make your little hostages, is all. Of course. And ring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair, though? Ya, Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Hyzant? Really? Impossible! Ship us full of us frosty soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna pay. Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? Oh. Conviction. In Norzelia, three major guiding convictions prevail. Utility, morality, and liberty. Yeah, there you go. So this is the part I want to have you guys discuss in the comments down below. Have a little discussion going on. I want to know what you guys chose and the reasons for it. Because for this Let's Play, I'm going to be based on what I feel is the best, the best way to go through go forward into the story and I want you guys to debate on what you, what you chose and do not tell me spoilers please I please please I beg you don't tell me spoilers do not put spoilers in the comments I swear to god recruiting allies yes oh yeah 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 Serenos convictions yeah you can actually get different companions as well depending on what your conviction so that's the complex part I gotta be worried, worry for, for. Uh, you didn't know. Who are you exactly, you better brigands? You two bear a striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? To be very honest, I didn't think it was a daughter. I thought it was a son. You two bear a striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? You got that right. This is Trish, my Trish. pride and joy. She's a chip off the old block, ain't she? Trish. <laughs> Minus the stench in the hairy arms, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. You wound me, girl. <laughs> that was supposed to be a compliment. If you'd prefer, we'll leave you alone to settle your family dispute. <laughs> You're the whole reason we're quarreling, you dolt. Oh. Exactly. You're about to pay for messing with Travis, the bandit king. Travis. How did Travis get here from Santa Destroy? <laughs> Our foe has lost their composure. Well done, my lord. Well, why don't you do something, Benedict? Yeah, enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plans! Two arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. Hmm. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then All I right. ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Yes, here we go. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. Whoa, whoa, is that Roland? Is that Roland? Oh, it's Roland! Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rout. Oh, <laughs> Roland, the MVP of Cal Calvary. Benedict's amputudes. Yes, Benedict is the buffer. Federica. Yes, uh, pyromancer. She is a pyromancer. And Gila. Yes, HP recovery magic. Yes. I tried my best to understand what I what happened in the demo, like the old demo, because I did I did make a video of it. It didn't do well, but yeah, I did re I did watch it just to know the characters again. Ah, oh. all right. Beset by brigands. 
adventure. The battle begins. Woo! Let's go! I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord? Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Woolfort. Just who are these people, anyway? Now, Benedict. Basics of battle, yes, yes. Higher height adventures, back attacks, yes. Turn order, yes. Also, turn order. Turn order, yeah. Turn order is literally a need because they're the best. It's literally the best because it's not based on, like, you know, farm them. One team goes, the other team goes, and then another team goes. <laughs> it's like a simple thing of chess. But for this one, it's based on the attribute of speed, which I find really good. I really find that really good. Think you got what it takes to best my family? Ha! Fools, the lot of you. <laughs> Give him a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle, and you receive your due reward. Oh, I'm so scared. You got into three spaces. I don't know if it actually is three spaces, but you were three spaces. Oh, I'm scared. We do not take kindly to thievery here in Wolfort. You will pay for your crimes. Defeat is not an option. Move forward. You think you're all high and mighty, huh? Well, we'll show you we're no slouches ourselves. We're just trying to make a living here. Take that! Okay. Our land has no place for those who disregard the law. Sarah Noah. It is time to strike. Our victory is Got assured. You. Okay. Charge. Face forward. Use double thrust. Double thrust that dude. Brace yourself. Nice, 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 nice. And always make sure your back is faced nowhere where the enemy can attack you from. Shall we make it a contest, my friend? Let us see who brings down more of these ruffians. No! I think not. Whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you? Seriously? These are no ordinary men. Is Frederick- Oh, wait, wait. Okay, ten. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Six, okay, not that bad, not that bad. And he's gonna retreat. Yep. Let us remain calm and clear-headed. That is our surest path to victory. Okay, cure wounds. Sarah Noah. Your wounds are healed. Heal. Tides are turning. Nice, okay. And you cover you cover the front lines as well. You're gonna take damage, but you can heal. You can pretty much heal. We must defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. I will end this. And then for you, you could use Scorch, but let's lure all of them first. Let's lure all of them first. Let's do that. Deal damage to that bruiser. Here. Yeah, face four. Face four. That's for you. No, don't 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 do anything. Fall back, fall back. Ready for battle. Oh, oh shoot. Uh oh, Let oh, oh that's bad. That's bad. Weakness. That is bad. That is bad. Okay, that's fine though, that's fine. Wait, 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 hold on. Raging Beast. Oh, holy crap! Federica! All buff, for victory. buff Federica. I can do it! Her magic attack is much more stronger now. Scorch them all! Flame, heed my call! Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Fall back. Oh, 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 that one's not going. Shall we begin? Okay. Hold on, hold on. What's the turn? What's the turn here? I don't want to the back strike. Do not allow them to do follow-up attacks. Allow me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. I may have an idea. We need to get Trish back, so... Okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Uh, kill him along the way. Kill him. Parry. There you go, there you go. Face Perfect forward. Three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double thrust, double thrust. That'll force Trish's hand to go back, hopefully. You don't stand a chance. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. This way. Point me at him! Oh, no. Yeah. Not going along as planned. Oh. That's fine. Hopefully. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Cure your wounds. Cure your wounds. Cure your wounds. Your wounds are healed. I swear, you can just heal at every turn. I oh my god, oh my god, I think I have an idea. Me. Whose turn is it? Federica? Yeah, Federica. Okay, we can kill these two. We can kill these two along the way. Okay, 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 okay. You scorch on this 
to kill two and damage one. Let's go. Blade, Scorch. Heed my call. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Delay his turn and follow allow a follow-up attack from two heights. Be there gone. you go. Raging Beast, Saranoa. I have your back. Our victory is assured. Okay, whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? Okay, Federica. Federica has less. Oh, Federica needs time. Yeah, Federica needs time. Federica, cure Federica. Much appreciated. Hey, nice, 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 nice. Delay his turn again. I'll make this quick. And fall off attack. May I? There we go. Scorch. Blame. Burn him. Need my call. For a better nice, level up, level up. Nice, 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 nice. I can't, I could literally, wait, hold on. Yeah, I could literally do it. I need to keep one alive. I, I can keep one alive. I need to keep one alive. Delay his turn again. I'll make this quick. One more. Nice. Serena leveled up. Good, 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 good. Deal damage to him. Deal damage to him. Nice, 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 nice. Attack and follow up attack. Too slow. To annihilate him. Damn it all! This can't be. There we go. Ooh, exquisite spoils. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abuse this. You, you guys Let probably don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best to like stop her from moving so that way I can abuse her. Don't, don't take that out of context. Don't take that out of context. I'm trying to do something. Stop her, stop her from moving, stop her from moving. Doesn't matter how far we go. Doesn't matter how far we go. I want to abuse this. So bad. Yes, yes. Heal, heal, heal. Keep on healing. Okay, skip everyone. Make her deal damage to her. Yeah, and then heal. I'm gonna do this until she levels up again. Cure, 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 cure. This is so abusive! Oh, this is so abusive! It's slow, but it works. It's slow, but it works. Cure our wounds, Hello, sir, no. Tides are turning. Yes, for those in need. There we go. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what that's what I was Charge. trying to do. That's the reason why I try my best to do as much as I can to level her up to get those abilities, Th these abilities here. Kill her with a book. Smack her. Sorry. <laughs> You'll rue this day, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, killed her with a book. Victory! Victory! Oh, that was not that bad. 13, okay. Woo! Good job on that. That was fun. That was fun. Wait, I know that face. That's the Wolfort Lordling. Oh, now you know. Now you know. After all that was time, like, staring at you. <laughs> Down there! <laughs> What's that you say? Walfort? It can't be. Oh? What are they doing Whoa. here so damn soon? Wait, wait, wait. This ain't what we planned for. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait, so... We're a bunch of no good thieves. At least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. Your bride to be is safe. Isn't that what matters? My bride to be. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> my sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. I did. Oh, I thought I thought they knew each other already. Okay, so it's arranged marriage. Of course, arranged marriage. Ugh. Abomination of marriages. Arranged marriage. They didn't know each other at all. <laughs> they didn't know what they look like. But where are my manners? I am Frederica of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> <laughs> to 
to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady make such a fine team. <laughs> Adorable. Your Highness! Oh. Oh. Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Oh. Roland went Did off. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Yes. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. I look forward to celebrating your union. Till we meet again. Ooh. So that's... I'm assuming this is the ring of the royal family. This ring bore the insignia of Glenbrook's royal family. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Could that have been... Prince Roland, King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we've come to, Frederica. Mm-hmm. This is Chila, my tutor and attendant. Famed is the martial prowess of the Wolforts. It was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sarah Noah of House Wolfort. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Sarah Noah in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? Uh... Oh, God. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you might be wondering why... <laughs> you, you might be wondering why I was laughing. <laughs> I remember, I recalled the... Po when he said domain and the wording of that in the dialogue box, it had a different word, wording. In return for amnesty for their own domain. Domain? Oh, that... What the hell? What's with the spelling? Is this an... Is, okay, is this a spelling error? Because I read it as Desmine, not Domain. <laughs> what the... Yeah, um... I, I said dem, Demensne. <laughs> I said something along that line in the old demo. Oh, that is so embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. That's the reason why I laughed. If it is not too forward for me to say so, I find it most beautiful. I mean, I would say that, but I would say that, but that's not a good first impression, to be very honest. So, I find your courage more noteworthy than your appearance. You held your own out there in the battlefield. I find your courage more noteworthy than your appearance. You held your own out there on the battlefield. Yeah, it's best to judge someone from the inside, not the outside. You flatter me, my lord. I apologize if I was out of line. Far from it. House Wolfert values the strength and courage of one and all. I have lived a sheltered life in Esfrost, but I promise I will do all in my power to make myself useful. That makes two of us. Fortunately, there is plenty of time for us to learn together. Mm-hmm. Yes. Together. Oh, you're just so Lady cute. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. Frederica and G Gila, join your forces. All right. Woo, and that was the first battle. I wonder, is there multiple battles in a chapter? 
I really am curious that there's multiple battles in a cuts in a chapter. Sarah Noah of Glenbrook's House Wolford and Frederica of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Salt monopoly? Huh. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia in the flames of war? Yeah, I know, right? Like, in the middle of... Like, like, I'm very surprised because it's like literally in the middle of everything of the wedding, of the union between the two, Esfrost and Glenbrook. Alright, and we get a side quest, a side story. Whiteholm Castle. At Whiteholm Castle, home of Glenbrook's royal family, preparations begin for a grand ceremony to commemorate a new age of harmony between the three nations. Wherever did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. Franny. It would seem Prince Roland shrugged off the King's Guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. I swear it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. He is an embarrassment to our family. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Ooh, who is this? Your honored guests have arrived, your highness. Claris. Clar, Clar, Claris? Claris? <laughs> Cla Cla Claris? I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Claris. Claris, okay, I thought Claris but was- But of course, your highness. Oh. The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of Esfrost. Avlora. Her prowess in battle is such that some say she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist, hero of the Salt Iron War. If the rumors of her strength are true, she is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Ooh, the Dawn Spear. Oh yeah, Sir Maxwell. Over there is Minister Exham Marshall of the Holy State of Hyzant. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Seven and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. Tis a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. A general of the Grand Duchy and Hyzant's young hope. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. <laughs> Very ironic. I know sense. this man. Sorcely end of Hyzant, yes? Oh, Sorcely, yeah. Just so, my lord. As you doubtless know, he is the Holy State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. Mm. So even the great monolith that is the Holy State is not immune to internal strife. Okay. Really big figures we're learning about. Thank you, Claris. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, brother oh, and sister God. of the Archduke, have arrived. <sighs> These two. Ah! The two I despise. The two I despise. Ugh. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadolf's stead. Word has it that Lord Thallus has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. Second most in okay. Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. With all due respect, Your Highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend our new allies. 
Uh, you need not remind yeah. me, Patriot. I know there is little to be gained from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. It's literally the only problem about having these different countries being so different. Politi in the political side, it just... It's hard to comprehend. Honored guests, I am Franny, Crown Prince of Glenbrook. It is an honor to welcome you to our kingdom in my father's stead. I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in the tourney to enjoy the revelry themselves. <laughs> Allow me to escort you to Whiteholm Castle, where the ceremony will take place, whenever you're ready. Wow, all the three nations had head, heads here, except for Gusadolf. I wonder, what if they sent these two? Prince Roland, finally you oh. return. Oh oh. Oh, Huguet. Huguet? Huguet? That is Huguet. Huguet. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Woolfort Domain, was it? <clears throat> Indeed. On minor business. Sorry. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. You know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Besides, no one would lose any sleep if something happened to me. Father and Franny least of all. Even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Well, I would not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? You right. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight in the tourney on the morrow, and alongside House Wolfort, no less. How did you...? His Grace told me, when he commanded me to keep you out of trouble. So Father knew all along. And so I have decided to fight at your side. You won't be slipping away on my watch this time. Oh. As you wish. So wait, 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 wait. They were t they were talking about Torney. The last time I heard about Torney. Yeah, hold on. The Torney never happened. Okay, if you guys don't know, in the demo, the demo, Don Spear, Sir Maxwell, and Avlora was talking about the tourney. Oh my god, we're gonna see what actually happened in the tourney. Alright! Castle Wolfart. Having routed the bandits, Sarah Noah and his retinue make their way back to Castle Wolfart. Welcome back, Ooh. the both of you. Anna! Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? <laughs> out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? Of course. <laughs> oh, him is his loudmouth. Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? It's Eridor. You can't help. Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never you mind. Hmm. <sighs> And this must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. 
Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, master at arms and commander of our military forces. Yes, that huge tanker. The tank tanker. You'll be the lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. The best spy. If you require anything, just say the word. She's great. Her class is great. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they are your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride! Nah, it brings a tear to my eye. Aww, Aragorn. His voice certainly does carry. <laughs> Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Already acting as a fan. <laughs> my lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Erador. Okay. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. Anna and Erador joined your forces. Yes. The tanker and the spy. Oh. Anna, amputees in battle. Yes, yes, yes. You may, you, you guys might be wondering why she's the best. It's because she, <laughs> she's good. She's really good. She's like my backstabber. And then for Eridor, Eridor draws enemies' attention and counterattacks with physical blow on an adjacent enemy. Yes. So he's basically the tanker. All right. Good introduction. Ooh. As you are well aware. There are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regna for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. Dragan. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven. Lila Viscraft. And our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony. Yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day. The tourney! There we go, the tourney. Okay. Ah, my blood's it is already part of the rushing. Festivities. Just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm clashing swords. God, that's a, that's a beautiful from sight. From the much renowned general of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor, the pride of Glenbrook. Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear! Yes, Sir Maxwell. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Mm -hmm. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. Uh, of course. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, he's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. 
I reckon his majesty would I be mean, beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Izand. I mean, here's the thing. If, no, here's the thing. If Roland is, like, the second, the second to, like, the crown, and Franny is the cr pr crown prince, why not give him the ability to literally do, like, anything else? Like, why must he just... Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the thinking. Why refuse that request? Literally. He just wants to do something. Because Franny is literally getting all the attention of, like, everyone. Getting all the responsibility. While for Roland, he's literally set on free. F free from the responsibility that Franny has. And yet, why not give him, like, the ability to do any... Like, I still don't understand that. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Mm -hmm. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Simon's health. Mm. Indeed. Sadly, the lord of the house is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Yeah, her Barring his some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his lord father's stead. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Mm -hmm. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. Yeah, the secret agenda each nation has for joining to this ceremony, tourney, and whatnot. That's the reason why Esfrost is doing this. To catch them off guard after this whole ceremony. I have a feeling that might be the case. Literally, Glenbrook might be like the only literal nation that isn't doing ill will. It's so hilarious. Because Heisen has their own monopoly of salt, keeping the salt for himself. Castle Wolfart, Lord Simon, head of the House Wolfart, welcomes Federica into his home both as his future daughter-in-law and a symbol of Glenbrook and Esfra's unity. Alright, I believe we get to see the connection they get to make. Father. I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho oh, ho, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. Uh... <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> you are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. She, this is the second, I believe she, this is the third time she, no, was it the second time or third time? Yeah, this is the second time I heard her talking about Roselian. Who the heck are the Roselians? Like, it seems so impactful that they're mentioning it th twice or three times? We have that moment where she asks uh, Sarah Noah's, like, opinion on the hair, and of course now. It's, it seems so important. What? Who the heck is the Resilians? Oh, ho, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request, both of you. Listen well. Yes, father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and Esfrost. 
that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. Okay. To give us more leverage against Tizend with their monopoly over salt. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh! Okay, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm piecing things together. That's the reason why... Oh my god, that's the reason why they're marrying. They're marrying each other for the benefit of Glenbrook and Esfrost, as Simon says it. And so, Glenbrook is having their own mine operation because of the Esfrost. Because the Esfrost has a side of iron, like iron iron, iron focus. So, since Heisen has a monopoly of salt, in order to corner them, they had to join forces in an alliance. Okay, that makes much more sense. That makes much more sense. Precisely. With Glenbrook and Esfros consolidating their power, Hyzant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. Ugh. Concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Mm -hmm. Wait, so... Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? Why? Yeah. Why is it... How come? So that if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Oh. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. Oh, God, yeah. I forgot how annoying and, like, how dark that is. Because these... These successors are just pawns. I keep forgetting about it because it's, like, the darkest part about the royal families throughout history. It, the, that's the reason why arranged marriages, the concubines, I got disgusted from all that because that's just like unbelievable. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfort name. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... Oh no! Ugh. Father! Oh no, his health, his health! Lord Simon! <sighs> I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolfort. Uh, oh. You will serve in my stead from oh. tomorrow forth, my son. But, Father, I am not ready to. <sighs> wow. It's that bad. My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Wow, to put all this on your son's shoulders so soon. Thank you, father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own schemes. Mm-hmm. Like Gustadolf. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife, but also as your own person. 
This is House Wolfort's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Well. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lila have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. Jesus. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a young hawk soars completed. Oh, that's chapter one. That was chapter one. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I have. A, okay, now I. I can't, after that talk with Lord Simon, uh, Serenora's father. I think I know why. I think I know why. I know why the Archduke Gust Gustadolf started this, start like started this war during the time of. The, their his sister's wedding, which is Frederica's wedding. I think it's because he's trying to make an alliance at the cost of having Frederica marry Serenoa, House Wolfort, second close in command with the royal family of Glenbrook. And I suspect maybe, maybe there's a reason. He put his cards on Wolfort, on Serenoa, on us. To work with him because Sarah Noah will marry Federica. He put his cards on that. I'm pretty sure that's the case. And that's probably what he concocted in this alliance. Okay, so this is going to be it for this episode. I am going to end the episodes at the end of the chapters for Triangle Strategy. And once again, I'm going to be going down my own path of what I feel is right for the situation at hand. And so that's the reason why I want you guys to discuss on what decision you chose if the decision that I have to make is in the episode. If you made a different decision, do let me know in the comments down below. I am excited. I am excited to know what else there is to this game. Oh my god. So this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe and share this video and a shout out to everyone. I'll greatly appreciate it and will help the channel so much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.